Welcome back. Uh, after some technical issues that included me uh, quitting Firefox when I wasn't paying attention, uh, we're we're back. Uh, so I'm not exactly sure how long I was not uh, not screen sharing. Uh, I guess I'll uh, figure that out when I go back and take a look at the video. Oops, here we go. Uh, but in any event, uh, we planted two flags, one up here on the mountain, one uh, down the valley. Uh, and uh, the game saved in kind of a weird spot, not when I um, not when I put both of my guys back in the ship, but rather uh, when I put one of them down on the ground next to the ship. So we're bringing them back in and we're gonna we're gonna take off. Um, previously, I wasn't able to select another ship as a target, and now I can. Uh, what I'm going to do to time this launch is I'm just going to have uh, I'm going to have Mac Jeb do it. Oh. Now oh, you know what I need to do. I need to change the embed code on Tumblr. Okay. Now that embed code works. Oops. Accidentally uh, hit R instead of F, so I turned off my. Uh... Oh, don't do that. No. We're in Ragdoll. <laughs> I bumped into the ship too hard. So now we're going to roll down the hill until we come to a stop and can come out of Ragdoll. There we go. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I was afraid I was going all the way down the hill. Okay, so we're going to come up. Okay. Oh, man. Wait, abort. Uh, abort. No, stop. And kill the timer. What I want to do is, uh, so our orbital altitude's, what, 22-something? And our scent path, we're going to start our turn altitude at uh, 500 kilometer, or, you know, 500 me uh, meters. We're going to uh, end our turn at uh, 1.5, say. Okay, so I'm just going to say uh, 0.5. So uh, at 5 kilometers, we're going to turn to 90 degrees. There we go. I wish there was a good way for it to just give you a, a, a launch countdown so that you could do the rendezvous, but apparently not.
Well, I I don't think that's gonna get us to a rendezvous. I don't. No, plus, radio plus. Right now, please. There we go, okay. Jeez. Okay. Almost uh, ran into the ground there. So we're going to be getting there before they are. We have a second intercept. Okay, so what I'm just going to do is, since I've got it set as a target, I'm just going to tell it to match. Uh, match velocities uh, at the closest target approach, and so now it's just my job to get this encounter as close as it's going to get. Now I'm going to be there and he's going to be way out there. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, pull our orbit back in. Now, of course, I'm going to correct this uh, um, uh, the angle of the orbit, I forget what it's called. 30. There we go. Okay, so that's going to be about as good as I'm going to get. Uh, let me uh, match planes with target first. I'm just going to let them, I'm, I'm going to let uh, MacJib do it, say uh, descending node. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Abort node execution on the ascending node.
Ah, oh, what's a decent note? Right, it is. Okay. And I was going to bring my approach distance pretty darn close. Okay, so let's see if we can get that closest approach distance down just using RCS. <laughs> All right, that's uh, under 100 meters. There we go. Is at thirty something for a second there? Now this is totally an easy uh, um, velocity match to do because all you have to do is tell your smart ASS to point. Uh, in the uh, relevant minus direction and burn um, when time to closest approach at zero. But uh, you know, I figure it's it's an easy thing to do. Or it's an easy thing to uh, warp past. I uh, I can't tell you how many t how many embarrassing times I've warped past critical um, critical uh, points in a mission. This totally didn't even. Oh man, it's uh, it's one of the worst feelings because it's it's something that you wouldn't have missed if you weren't trying to zip through the mission. And you, you know, at, the, at a point, you have to zip through the mission. You can't sit here and do this in real time. Now, that's one of the reasons that Mac Jeb's warp helper is super handy. Um, Okay, I'm going to set this as my target. I'm going to try to dock from this angle. I don't know how well this is going to work. There we go. Um, we'll see how well this guy translates. In any event, these uh, vessels are so stinking tiny, it, they can really be uh, tough to, to dock. Okay.
Oh man, it's really tough to just see. There we go. Whew. Okay. There you go. That wasn't too bad. Okay. So uh, let's let's make a decision here. No, I do have a lot of fuel in there. Okay. Uh, okay. Why is my specific impulse zero? That's not correct. Okay, that is, we must not calculate a specific impulse until we're uh, under thrust. So let's go ahead and, uh, there we go, turn this off, shut down engine. So we want to make sure that we're uh, controlling with the right, because what happened was uh, I was controlling from the pod I just docked. Where is it? Now the pod I just docked, which means that I was pointing in the opposite direction of the engine, so everything would have been backwards. So I just uh, control from here for the uh, lunar excursion module, which is facing in the direct, correct direction. Okay. So. Uh, let's now set our target as the moon. I'm trying to remember what the, the best uh, angle for this is. I'm going to have to bring up a calculator. Um... Okay, so let's bring up Olex's uh, calculator.
Okay, so we're going to switch our origin to Minmus and our destination to Moon. That's pretty easy. Um, our current parking orbit is 22. Okay, so we're going to want Moon to be behind us by 153.8. We're not going to be able to warp very high. Yeah. Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go back to the Space Center and we'll uh, put something on the launch pad and we'll be able to warp from that. Nope. Oh, oh we're on. Okay. Fine, let's build a uh, just for warps. Uh, vehicle here. All right, that's about right. So you use transfer to another planet if you are transferring to another object in the same sphere of influence. Uh, okay, there we go. That looks pretty good to me. Uh, we're getting a... Uh, Uh, we're getting an error because our uh, our plane is incorrect. But honestly, that looks pretty good. Uh, we'll just do a plane change there. Okay, so now we want to watch this to make sure that everything's... Uh, correct, that so we don't have any engines running that we don't want running. Yeah, as far as I can see, I only have one engine over here, but I am so paranoid. I've, I've missed things uh, far too often that I'm going to make sure that I get this right. All right, and you see our um, our transfer is only going to be around a uh, hundred meters per second. Really, not a lot. Now this thing's wiggling all over the place. So, yeah, these uh, these many uh, docking ports really don't do a great job. Uh, this whole thing needs to be strutted out with some quantum struts.
Mm, it's not letting us warp. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to use my uh, warp helper to do this because for some reason you notice, uh, well, our uh, maneuver node is out uh, by a couple of days, which means we got to do a good couple of uh, orbits here. Oh, that's really cool. The conics are, uh... oh no, it's, um, <laughs> it's out so far that, uh, the moon is actually passing through the, <sighs> okay. Oh, so that's nice. It, uh, my angle was incorrect, so it's going to wait until we get there, right there. Why is it only clocking down minutes so slowly? This doesn't make any sense to me. If our time acceleration is so dang high, we should be going a lot faster than this. I don't understand it. Well, if we're going at a minute a second and we got to wait a day, this is going to take about an hour. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kill the time warp. Oops. We'll zoom out. Switch over to this guy. And we'll wait. We'll, we'll time warp from over here. So we were looking at a day something. Oh, the clock isn't starting. Hope oh, that maneuver node is still in place. Nope. It's still a day out. Okay, uh, I'm getting, I'm getting to the point where I need some lunch. So I'm gonna end this. I'll come back to it later. See you guys.